Today we'll be covering Lydia's Gangnam Style, aka Horse Stance. Horse can be entered manually with forward 3 plus 4. You can't block in stance, nor cancel it with movement, but you can hold back to block faster, and tap back back to do a retreating evasive jump. You can go into Wolf by pressing forward, and in Heat you can go into Heaven and Earth by pressing up. Most of the time, the way we access Horse Stance is through two of Lydia's most important moves. Forward Forward 2, or Running 2 for the Blue Spark version, or Down Back 3. Forward Forward 2 is Lydia's main approach tool. It's very fast at I-13 startup. It's plus 5 on block, plus 15 on hit, and plus 17 on counter hit. In heat, it gets empowered to be plus 17 on normal hit as well. Its main weakness is that it's very linear. It is a forward forward move, meaning we can hold the second forward a little longer so that it tracks better to sidesteps. But of course this comes at the cost of speed. Down back 3 is almost the opposite of forward forward 2. It's a homing low that has little range. It's pretty fast at I-16 to 17 startup, but is launch punishable on block. It has a clean hit effect, which is an effect that only occurs when hitting the move at close range. But all it does is increase the damage from 17 to 20. On hit, you get a very nice plus 7 into horse stance, and on counter hit you get a knockdown attack animation and a small heal. The damage and heal on counter hit scale with your heaven and earth level. To summarize our transitions, we can enter horse after forward forward 2 on block at plus 5, on hit at plus 15, on counter hit or in heat at plus 17, and after down back 3 at plus 7. Let's review Lydia's horse attacks in context of these four situations and build a game plan around them. First we have horse 1, which is a high homing armor move. It's I-17, meaning it's guaranteed after forward forward 2 on counter hit or normal hit in heat. Although it's plus 1 on block, you automatically transition into wolf stance, so although it's safe, the frame situation isn't very good. On hit, you get a huge plus 16. Horse 2 is your heat engager option. Although it's minus 10 on block, it's also guaranteed after forward forward 2 on counter hit, or normal hit in heat. Horse 2 does more damage than horse 1, but horse 1 walls plots, so you'll want to hit confirm each of these depending on the situation. On hit, you're left in an extremely good situation, plus 8, with an automatic transition into heaven and earth stance. If you've run out of heat, you'll still get the plus 8, just without the stance transition. Almost forgot to mention, it's a heat dash launcher, meaning in heat, you can hit confirm forward forward 2 into a full launch. Pretty insane. Moving on, we have horse 3. This is your anti-dick jab move, that comes out a little slower at I-22 to 24 frames. It's a mid-homing which is nice, and gives a chunky guaranteed follow-up on hit. It's safe, but as you're airborne, and it's not the fastest move, you can get jab floated in certain situations which we'll get into later. Horse 4 is very slow at I-28 startup, is weak to sidesteps, but is a win on hit or on block, giving you a knockdown into follow-up on hit, or a huge plus 8 into wolf stance on block. On top of this, it's a counter hit launcher. Our last option from horse is 1 plus 2. It's Lydia's only low from stance and does a measly 17 damage. The utility of this move is to go under highs and fish for a counter hit launch. It has decent tracking and is relatively fast, but is launch punishable on block. So, that was a lot of information. What's our actual game plan, and what's the best counterplay? So besides down back 3 on block, which is launch punishable, our worst frame state going into horse stance is plus 5, which is after forward forward 2 on block. Don't be deceived by the plus 5. As our fastest move from horse is I-16 frames, we're essentially at minus 1. All that means is the only way we can beat our opponent's 10 frame buttons is by armoring through them, going over, or going under them. As the defender, we can beat every option besides horse 3 by dick jabbing. Not only that, if Lydia does her armor move, we still have time to launch her after our dick jab is absorbed. Of course, Lydia can still do horse 3 to counter dick jabs, but what this achieves is eliminating options and variables from the situation, simplifying the mind game, and lessening our defensive mental stack. We want to add another defensive option that beats horse 3, but also has decent coverage for Lydia's other options. There are several to choose from, so I'll quickly list them out with their pros and cons so you can decide based on the situation. Interrupting with jab will float horse 3, beat horse 2 and 4, but will lose to 1 plus 2, and worst case, lose to armor. 
Sidestep block means you'll block horse 3 and be plus 4. You can evade and launch horse 2 and 4. But you'll likely be clipped by horse 1 and 1 plus 2. And simply just holding back will leave you at favorable frames for blocking horse 1, 2, and 3. You'll take a little bit of damage from horse 1 plus 2, and worst case you block horse 4, leaving you at minus 8 in another mix-up. There are other defensive options you can choose if you'd like, but I recommend these as we won't get counter hit launched and still cover several options each. The next frame situation is at plus seven, which is after Lydia's down back three. It's only two more frames of advantage, but it makes a huge difference as we unlock our first frame trap in horse two. This beats both jabs and dick jabs, but still loses to sidestep right. Horse one unfortunately trades with jabs now, which is worse than if it were absorbed and the rest of the stance remains the same as the previous plus five situation. Forward forward two on hit, however, is a different story. At plus 15, you can almost do anything you want. Everything except for horse four becomes both a frame trap and unsteppable. Your safest option is horse three, which only loses to armor, heat burst, and rage art. Against heat burst, you land before it hits, so you won't get floated into a combo. To beat armor, you can do anything except for horse three and four. Horse 4 still loses to a lot of options because of how slow it is, but if your opponent is pressing at minus 15, you can blow them up with pretty much any option. Most people are probably just going to block, so Horse 4 is actually your best choice against blockers. Our last situation is Forward Forward 2 on Counter Hit, or Normal Hit and Heat, which leaves us at plus 17. Here we get a guaranteed Horse 1 or 2. We're able to hit Confirm it, which just means we react to the Counter Hit and press 1 or 2 in response. You have plenty of time to react, but if you're having trouble, just note that the camera only zooms in on counter hit or in heat, and the sound effect is a lot more chonky. Most of the time, you'll want to hit confirm into horse 2. It does more damage, is a heat engager, and leaves you in heaven and earth with little cost to your heat meter. Landing Horse 2 is actually the only way you can get more than one Heaven and Earth stack on the first round, or when you have no stacks. I'd highly recommend going for this, as it really sets the tone for the rest of the match. And don't forget, you can Heat Dash to launch your opponent. Just note that you won't be able to get any more stacks if you do. If you're near the wall, you can opt for Horse 1 for the wall splat. It's personal preference what you do here, but personally, I'd use Horse 1 if I'm already in Heat, or need max damage. and Horse 2 in other cases to get into heat efficiently and the deadly mix-up afterwards. The last thing I'll talk about is your raw stance transitions from Horse. Transitioning into Wolf by tapping forward is a great way to mix up your offensive flow and overload your opponent with different timings and options. The best place to do this is when you think your opponent will respect your frame advantage. This achieves several things at once. Lydia's offense can be predictable when following the typical horse mix-up into wolf mix-up flowchart. Skipping over horse forces your opponent to think about the extra layer and timing of the mind game. It also incentivizes your opponent to try and interrupt your stance transitions, giving you the opportunity to fish for those sweet, sweet counter hits from horse. As you may have guessed, this loses to basically every interrupt, so think before you go for this one. While in heat, you can press up to go from horse into heaven and earth stance. This is a super scary transition, as you'll parry every interrupt attempt except for grabs, lows, and dick jabs. Although it's a little knowledge checky, be sure to check your opponent to see if they know how to deal with it. As if they don't, you're gonna have a good time. And that's all I've got for you today. Hope this helps. See you later, alligator.